Hey guys, welcome back to Olive Gray Avenue. My name's Ruth, that's Steve. Uh, he's gonna be digging out this area because we are going to be creating an awesome edible garden, little walking path. It's gonna be great. So he's my digger. He's gonna be working hard today in the sun. Let's go. Steve is starting by marking this line. We're gonna put this metal down to have the barrier between the grass and the gravel. So he's digging that line so he knows exactly where to go. And he's gonna dig down four to six inches, put a base of gravel down, weed barrier, more gravel. We'll go through it as we do it. But that's what he's starting with now is just the digging. So the water in our backyard here needs to flow from that side that way out to our drainage and stuff. And it needs to flow from our house towards the fence because it's also the same for our neighbors. Everything needs to come here. So we don't want to mess that up. So we got to make sure that we grade and have a proper slope here. Um, and so since we did a lot of throwing up dirt all over here from the old flower beds, we don't have a level surface to start with. So we have to ensure that the slope we create is proper. So we looked it up and what we're going for here is a 2% slope, which is the minimum. Uh, so we're gonna go as a 2% drop from here, which is about eight feet and 2% drop this way, which is 30 feet. So from this point where we level it out, down four inches, on the far end, we're gonna be down from this level point, 17 inches. As we go, we don't have high spots, low spots, and that allows our water to flow through underneath all that rock we're gonna put down. Otherwise, you'll have puddles that are created everywhere, and you don't really want that because it'll soften the dirt, you'll have divots and it just messes everything up. So the first thing we want to do is get the massive amount of topsoil off. So you can see the difference from here. All of this is stuff that remains. And this is stuff that we've already taken off that initial like first layer of soil, We're trying to get down as close as we can to grade it without aiming for perfection or that grade just yet, that slope. Um, so we want to get all of this off. And the cutoff point for today is right back here behind me. Uh, this is about 12 feet uh, by eight feet. We still have another uh, I think like 15 feet to go or something like that. Um, and what we're doing is we're making sure that the edges are actually at the proper slope. So this is down at the right amount, four inches down. And then here we measure from this area and then connect those dots like I mentioned, but not yet. Uh, that's what we've been up to. So I'm gonna finish this little part right here and that'll be it for today. Um, and then we'll keep going some other time tomorrow, next week, throughout the week just taking little chunks at a time apart right we're not in a big rush to do this there's no rain in the forecast so not too much to worry about right? oh hey we finished not really the top layer of dirt is gone so we got that part done uh, I'll say that's the hardest part and all we have to do now as you can see is properly grade it so give it that slope that we talked about before. You can see this, right? You can see this little slope that happens. And that's the most important slope, which is getting water away from the house. Um, we're gonna start from this end. And we're gonna make a grade, like a grade channel here. So that we have, we know what this side needs to be as we go down. And then we'll just kind of copy it going down this way while digging a little deeper. But the main thing is this side needs to be properly graded down towards the street and then from here this way needs to be properly graded into that channel to get down into the street um, so I'm gonna do it by hand continuing on with just a shovel uh, but the main thing is that we want to make sure that this water goes away it's okay if it's a little bumpy a little hilly just don't want that standing water so let's continue the manual labor Yow! Done with the grading. It is slow. It rained again, and that means we're able to see where it puddles, and it's no longer puddling. I see all the flow, all the dirt is where it needs to be, washed away where it got washed away. We're ready to go. Um, sprinklers have been dealt with. Let's rock and roll. So it's all ready to go. And now it's time to rock and roll.
Um, so Steve finished laying down the first layer of rocks, then the weed barrier. Yeah, now yeah, it's yeah. time for the stepping stones. We got, what, like 19 of them? Yeah. But we did some math and figured out that 16 would be better so that there's four inches between each um, paver. paver yeah. And that'll reach the whole distance and it's kind of perfect. Yeah, so we're gonna lay them all the way down, measure them, make sure they're level, not too far off. It's okay to them to slope, but not too far off, not rocking. Not where they're like janky. Yeah, we don't wanna rock them around. And then once we have that set, in come the rocks. We'll go all the way. So we're just, this isn't centered on this whole space. This is centered on the back door. So that's all we're doing, yeah. easy. Let's and then Steve will oh, put oh, rocks oh. down after. Yeah. But we'll get there. Pavers, big rocks, smaller rocks. That's all we got, I think, left. Yep. Get to it. Uh. So life happened and I never filmed the end of this project, like the reveal. So you get the project and the year and a half later update all in one. Our gardens have been doing great. We've got spearmint, strawberries, a bunch of stuff. Um, peppers but it's gotten recently really hot here so they're kind of struggling right now a little overgrown these guys are oleanders and they have gotten way too big so I'm not sure what we're gonna do with them we've cut them back a few times um, but they're ginormous and obviously blocking the pathway we have this rain barrel that comes like connects to our gutter or our gutter just dumps right into it. It's been so nice having it right next to our garden beds because we've been able to water during the very hot, hot times when it's not raining, um, but it's still hot and they're dying. But overall, I love this area. I love how it turned out. The oleanders are just a little bit of a problem, but we'll figure that out. Thanks for watching the project. Stick around for the next one. It'll be good. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.